Hi Duck, today we are going to do an edge nail. Not just any ordinary edge nail, we're also going to do a chevron smile line. We're going to sculpt, we're doing it on Andrea, we love it, so let's get cracking. So when you're doing an edge nail, the form, your form is one of the most important things to get right. If you don't get this right, it's going to throw everything off and no matter how much you try, with the product it's just gonna make everything look out of line and rubbish okay so with the sculpting form what you need to do is create a crease that runs all the way from the tip so i've got a sculpting form on the metal file here so we can go how long do you want to go and Yeah, you have a go. Put it on. You have a little. Yeah. Have a little. See what you think. Ooh, the contemplation in her face right Beautiful. now. Contemplation, not constipation. Family <laughs> 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 like rhubarb complex. Um, four, three, four. How long? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, that's fine. I don't know because when you do your filing, I don't know how much of it takes. Well, we go to a four. Yes. And we've got room for filing. Yeah. Yeah. Is that? Hold Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine with me. That's absolutely fine. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm expecting to. So we think we're going to go to a four here, which means we don't need this part of the form. Now with our forms, they have a perforation line, so you can do extreme nails and you can do salon length nails. So we don't need that bit. So that's why I was asking her how long she wanted this nail. The tea boy has arrived, or the coffee boy, <laughs> aka Adam Boabda, the cameraman. <laughs> Thank you very much, Doc. Thank you. You're welcome. So, <laughs> so what we need to do is get this line right. Now, you're going to do this while it's on the backing paper, okay? So, this one's easy to do because there's already a perforation there. So we're going to go straight through that number eight. You hold it there and there. Pop it down. You can get your metal file and rub that across to score it so you know it's nice and straight. Notice we left the centre tab there as well. That is important because when we peel this off, this centre tab is going to go underneath and we're going to put it in line with the line that you've created. So you're mirror imaging this. You can see how we've mirror imaged this like that. Now, what you can do if you struggle fitting forms, and this is like a top tip from Kirsty, is we can cut this part out. Yeah? So if you want to take your little scissors and we want to cut this section out, don't worry about these wings. So we can fold this over like there and we can cut out this backing paper okay so you know that you can get the finger through without it sticking to your client how good is that so as we look I know that I need to cut this form at this line here a 45 degree angle and this line here okay so we can do that even while it's on the backing paper. Like that. So I know that they are cut out and that will relieve pressure. One thing you also need to do with a edge nail is a little triangle here. It's going to help you when it comes to fitting the form tiny little wee triangle like that. So now this form is ready to be applied. So we can take it off the backing and lift those up 
You can even cut them off if you want to. We're going to open the back of the form, but we're also going to close just here and we're going to make this into a little triangle. And because of the shape of the form, that's going to help you to do that as well. And I've got this like diamond, sorry, not triangle. It's a diamond, isn't it? So, we can now fit this form. Make it nice and straight. Turn that one over so I can spin it. Because the finger does go slightly this way. So we want to counteract it a little bit. Okay, now I can close the form. tapering in. Some people like their edge nails to be straight here and I mean that the distance from here to here is the same as the distance from here to here. I like mine tapered a little bit because it just doesn't work more elegant. You know what I mean? Of course I'm triggered. And we need elegant nails. Okay, awesome. So, We've already dehydrated the nail with the cleanup solution. I'm just going to pop my gloves on. Prime. This is an acid-free primer. So our Kirsty McKeon primer is acid-free. I'm going to pop that on. And the first thing we're going to do is bridge the gap between the form and the nail. The natural nail. So we're going to do that with, in the buff, which is a semi-transparent, slightly milky, natural colour. That was a good description. Did you get what I was on about? Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use the Oscar the Wild brush. I'm going to pick up the bead. And we're going to bridge the gap. We're going to do it nice and thin. And we're going to keep the sides flat. Andrea said she wanted to go to a four, so we're going to a four. So we're keeping this side straight and then we're coming up at a 45 degree angle here. And you can see that we have this angle, this 45 degree angle, we have it on the grid of the sculpting form. So that's going to help you as well. So we bridged the gap and we've built a thin extension. Then I'm going to put a very thin bead on the natural nail. We're going to do exactly the same on this little tiny, I mean, wow. Has your pinky been on a diet? Because <laughs> I swear that's the smallest pinky I've ever seen. Ed, like, it's like a baby. It's a baby. It's a tiny baby. <laughs> baby it's a baby one. <laughs> it just looks so tiny. Okay, we're going to repeat this on this now. While this one's setting a little bit, we can give it a bit of a pin. So we're going to pop that pinch into a line and just let it do its bang. Check and bang. So, next stage, so we've done those two, and these are the, these are the two that are going to have this chevron edge nail. 
what we're going to do on this part is actually we're going to switch products and we're going to use aqua gel now you can use aqua gel directly on the top of acrylic so if you want to combine the two this is how to do it we're going to use peaches and cream peaches and cream oh i love 10 peaches i do yeah but you can't catch them i haven't got patience for them Chasing oh, these slippy, slippy, slippy yeah. little things. Yeah, yeah, they are hard work, but yeah. oh, but I do nice. like yeah. them. I mean, I don't know what they put them in, but whatever they put them in. Oh my the God, it's so yeah. nice. Like, I could just have that mm -hmm. and drink it. It's very nice. They saw that on its own. Mm -hmm. You saw it as kids, weren't you? Kids? Yeah. With ice cream or sometimes with... Um, that carnation Car oh, like, oh like double carnation yeah. cream yeah. in a can yeah. Yeah. yes what do you use to ration dear babies I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember back in day back in day yeah well we couldn't really afford much <laughs> we're going to use the make and scrape brush so this is a gorgeous aqua gel brush we have got clean up solution in a little dampened dish and this is going to help you slip and slide. Oh, we've got a hair, and I think it's straight. <laughs> so we can get this nice and crisp at the cuticle. And because it's aqua gel, it's not going to cure until we pop it in the lamp, it's not going to set. But we can move this around and actually create our chevron smile line with the spine. So don't forget we're doing an edge shape. So we want this spine running through the middle. And we can get this chevron smile line as well. The beautiful thing about aqua gel is you get loads of strength but you also can maneuver it around without panicking if you struggle with acrylic then aqua gel is gonna be your best friend every time i work with this i think I, I, it makes me realize just how good it is i just love working with it We've got an apex, We've got the chevron smile. And once you're happy, pop that in the lamp. The thicker the aqua gel is, you want to cure it for 90 seconds. If it's thinner, you can cure it for 60 seconds. And we'll do the exact same thing on the pinky as well. On the tiniest pinky, so we'll need a smaller bead. So, I'm going to use the easy squeezy to help me squeeze out that smaller bead. So I've got my bead, I'm going to use the spatula, scrape it off. There's your finger. Scrape that on. Let's get that cuticle area now. So notice the angle of the brush was quite high when I was doing the cuticle area. And then we can come flat it. When we do the rest of it. Put me that in. Now, does it feel warm? Do yes. you feel it feels warm yeah. in the lamp, or does the product feel warm? Um, product is it is it too hot? No. So you don't get like a heat spike where it's yeah. like, yeah. yeah. 
God. Oh, I've seen on Instagram, um, somebody did a thing about a video about, you know, when the client puts their hand in the lamp and they knock it and everything like that. They put razor blades all around the outside of the lamp. <laughs> to the client to be careful as they went in. And then they did another one with like all nails sticking out of the lamp. That'd be you doing that with me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I mean, I've been tempted. It's a bit extreme. It is a little bit. It is a little bit. It's a little bit of electro shock. Yeah, have, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Remember yeah. the um, operation? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, operation like and it buzzes if you touch it. Yeah, yeah. 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 It gives you electric yeah. shock. Uh-uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I'm sure we can work with the manufacturer yeah. and yeah. put that into place. Mm. Might be a bit cruel. <laughs> a little bit. Wouldn't do it again, no one did it once, would they? No, that's very true. People are only bothered if you crow to animals, they don't care about people. <laughs> that's, that is true. They think it's, it's funny. Much true. Yeah, they think it's funny if you do it to humans. Yeah, like humans pay, get hurt. Yeah. It's like, no, it's fine. But it's fine. Get but hurt. an animal, it's like, it's oh, the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. Right, so what we're going to do now is wipe off the sticky layer with some clean-up solution. Even on the edge here, and then we're just going to file. We're going to file that into a nice point. <clears throat> and this kind of just proves the importance of having the acrylic here. You could do it all in aqua gel, but I wanted to show you something a little bit different. I do like to combine aqua gel with acrylic. But we need this platform here to support because if we started doing this on a form <clears throat> without this product here then the form would just release and then you'd have to put a form on again in exactly the same place yeah, and you saw the effort that was taken putting the form on, so we don't want to do that again, do we? And I'm just going to file that a little bit, just so I can see. And I'm just going to file that a little bit, just so I can see this edge that we're working with. This spine. Same on this one. So I'm gonna use Onyx, which is a marble ink. It's black. And we're going to put this right on this smile line. And because it's aqua gel, it's really going to absorb it because it's so porous that it will just suck it in like a sponge. So we're just kind of framing this chevron. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Jelly Top Coat Collection. So I'm going to use Les and Luna. Oh. Luna, young dog. Hi, Luna. Yeah, we're going to use them. We're also going to put in some gold leaf. What this gold leaf's like, it's it's got like um, it's a... It's moldy. It's not moldy, Adam. It's got different <laughs> colours in it, for gold. God's sake. I mean, I'll take moldy gold. It's fine. <laughs> Any gold. Any gold. Oh, except for what happened. My bloody gold filling came out last night on the cap. No. Oh, you know, we talked no. about me being ill yesterday and somebody said, was it, I don't know whether it was you or it was... Um, Kerry. Kerry said about going to the dentist. Yeah. And then I was eating the sweet last night and it just came out of the sweet. Oh no, have you got a toothache then? No, no. Oh, I'm lucky. Yeah. Lucky man. Yeah.
So it's going to add colour and also it's going to have a little bit of transparency. But don't forget we have put on um, a milky colour underneath. So I'm randomly going to put these colours on. And it's just a really fun, cool way to use your jelly top coats within a full set of nails and embedding it inside rather than just using it on the top. Pop me that in. Then I'm going to put base coat on top. This is going to give us a sticky layer so we can put the oil or leaf, sorry, on there. Pop that in. So now we have a sticky layer. We can put that down. I'm going to use a making scrape brush to flatten that. Oh, it's nice! I like it! Oh, well. Same on this one. Then we're going to take clear aqua gel, clear as day. And we're going to cap that. And even though we're capping, we are keeping the spine. Put that in. We're going to cap this one as well. So again, my brush has cleanup solution on it. This is going to allow you to glide product into place. So it starts to stick to your brush, clean your brush in the clean up solution and go again. So it's damp with clean up solution. The brush is not saturated, it's just damp. Pop me that in the wrong. So we're going to wipe off the sticky layer oh. and then we can take the sculpting for the mask. Mm. So we're going to file this into shape. Is that the wobbly bit at the end there? This bit? Yeah. It's a bit of the gel. Yeah. So we're going to do side walls like this and then we're going to whip round this cuticle area. Do the free edge. Same on this nail. Cuticle area, free edge, 45 degree angle, flat, 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 flat. flat. 
I find it easier to file an edge nail with a hand file than it is with an electric file because you can use the flatness of the file to get that so flat so you get that spine. So we're going to buff this now and you'll notice that it's so easy to file, so easy to buff because it's aquagel. Don't forget we're doing an edge, so we do not want to get rid of that spine. So once you've buffed, wipe over it with cleanup solution and then we can top coat. I'm going to seal the edges as well. Pop that in. Ah, oh, very cute to oh, yeah, come. Oh, that's hydrate, darling, hydrate. So let's look at the shape so you can see. Got a nice V. V for victory! Nice spine. Running down the middle. I think the black, oh my god, a bit of black ink just really highlights that shape. So. Give it a go, let me know how you get on. I want to see everybody's recreations, but it's a different way to do a um, edge nail, but using your other products that you've got as well. Because you don't have them sitting on the shelf, don't you? You, know I mean? you want to use them, make some money. So there you are, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all that shebang. I'll see you in the next video. ta Oh, I've seen on Instagram um, somebody did a thing about a video about you know when the client puts their hand in the lamp and they knock it and I can like that. They put razor blades all around the outside of the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> so the client to be careful as they went in. And then they did another one with like all nails sticking out of the lamp. That'd be you doing that with me. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I've been tempted. It is a little bit. It is a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. the um, operation? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, operation like and it buzzes if you touch it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -uh. yeah I think that's it. I'm sure we can work with the manufacturer yeah. and yeah. put that into place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Might be a bit cruel. A little bit. We'll do it again though, once they did it once, wouldn't they? No, that's very true. They don't only bother if you crumb the animals, they don't care about people. That's, that is true. <laughs>